Many of us look up information online, especially about our health. Some of this information is not true. We call this misinformation. Misinformation can be damaging, especially if it encourages things that are bad for us or stops us taking up healthier behaviours. We conducted an experiment in both the US and the UK to see if misinformation on Twitter about e-cigarette harms changed smokers' intention to purchase e-cigarettes and changed perceptions of their relative harm compared with smoking regular cigarettes. Although e-cigarettes are not completely harmless, evidence shows that their short-term health risks are much lower than for regular cigarettes. Despite this, recent studies show an increase in incorrect beliefs about e-cigarettes. In our experiment, we showed two groups of smokers different types of misinformation. The first group was shown messages that e-cigarettes are as harmful or even more harmful than regular cigarettes. The second group was shown messages that e-cigarettes are completely harmless. Both of these messages are untrue. A third group was shown accurate messages about physical activity. This is known as the control group. Compared to the control group, Smokers who'd seen messages that e-cigarettes are as or more harmful than regular cigarettes were less likely to say they would purchase e-cigarettes and more likely to, wrongly, think that e-cigarettes are more harmful than regular cigarettes. Compared to the control group, the participants who'd seen messages that e-cigarettes are completely harmless were more likely to say they would purchase e-cigarettes and less likely to think e-cigarettes are more harmful than regular cigarettes, but only among US participants. Our findings show it's important for us all to consider misinformation about e-cigarette harms because it can change smokers' attitudes towards them. So, if you're a current smoker, remember, although e-cigarettes are not completely harmless, their short-term health risks are considerably lower than smoking regular cigarettes. When you access information online, not everything you see will be true. For accurate information, always check with your national health agency this would be the NHS in the UK and the CDC in the US. If you're a healthcare provider, be aware that your patients may have seen misinformation on social media and may have incorrect beliefs about e-cigarettes. Always correct these and consider the ways you can help your patients to identify accurate health information. If you're a policymaker, make sure all social media searches for e-cigarettes are flagged with official health guidance. Consider regulating all forms of misinformation on social media and improve people's awareness and their ability to find accurate information. To find out more, read our paper.